Ultron 2014, and I am here at the Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron signing, and we're going to try to get in a quick question with some of the celebrities from the film. Here we go. Hello, Paul Bettany. Hi, how are you? I'm very well. How are you doing? Terribly well. Thank you very much. So you have been in the films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Jarvis, but now you're joining us as Vision. What is it like getting to get in on the action finally? You know what? It's a double-edged sword. Initially, I, you know, I just I turned up for work and it was 45 minutes in a dark room and they gave me a bag of cash and now they want me to work for my money. But it's been, yeah, terrible. But it's been, uh, everybody's been really welcoming. It's been so much fun and it's just, uh, it's just so exciting to be part of such a, you know, a big and creative thing. It's every day, it's, every day at work is good. Well, I can't wait to see it. Good luck at Hall H. It's going to be amazing. Thank you so much. Hello. Hello. How's How are it you? Going? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So you are playing Quicksilver in the film, and Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch have a very, very special bond in the comics. How is your bond coming together in the film? Yeah, well, we play uh, twin brother and sister, so we're very close, and um, they're from Eastern Europe, and they feel like they're uh, they're sort of uh, they all they have is one uh, each other as they were uh, abandoned by their parents, so they feel very connected. Very close, very close. Well, I can't wait to see. Good luck at Hall H. I know the fans are going to go crazy. They have been swarming you all day. Yeah, it'll be good to see their reaction for sure, man. It's going to be cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> you got angry at me. Yeah, hello, hello. Yeah. How are you doing? I snuck up on you from behind. You scared me there. You scared me. What's going on? Very, I'm very sorry for scaring you. So, Thor, he's back, and he's been spending some time in between realms. Yep. How? This one in particular. He's been hanging out on Earth with the team. He's, he's given up his uh, kingship, if that's a word, and he's living here in amongst the Avengers as a team. So. We can't wait to see it. Thank you so much, and have fun at Hall H. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, hello. How are you? Good. Thank you for letting me sneak up on you. I'm no very well. How are the fans treating you? Very, very well. They're very Great. sweet. I love you, Mark. I love you, Chris. I love you, Mark. I love you, Mark. I love, you, Mark. I love this dynamic. You also met another Hulk today. I did. The original. O-G-H. Oh original God. Hulk. That's so very cool. So now, does Mr. Banner feel some redemption after the Battle of New York. I know hulking out wasn't always his favorite thing before, but now he's done some hulking out for good. How does he feel about it? He feels good. He feels he, he's come to a, an, e, an uneasy peace with it. An uneasy peace. Yes. I guess peace sometimes is a little bit uneasy. I think sometimes it is. He, he's, he's wrestling with some pretty big demons. One big one in particular. Oh, yes. Speaking of which, James Spader, I think, has just stepped away, but he might have something to do with Mr. that. Mr. Spader. Mr. Spader. No, there he is. There he is. Thank well, goodness. Well, thank you so much. Yes, nice talking have a to wonderful you. time at Hall H. May I trouble you for a moment of your time, sir? Absolutely. Uh, so you are playing Ultron. I can't wait. I'm such a fan of your work, and I know everyone is so excited to have you join the cast. Thank you. How do you bring humanity and emotion to a robot who is essentially artificial intelligence? How do you do that? He's really, um, he has all, many, many more of the same sort of issues and conflict and insecurities and, and tantrums and anger and fear and rage and everything that, um, that we have. Um, all sort of compressed into sometimes two sentences. Right. He's really a little crazy, um, but he, Joss Whedon, really worked towards that. He really wanted, uh, for all of Ultron's feelings about humanity, uh, through the course of the film, he becomes more and more and more um, of that. You know, he. And, and what was it like working with motion capture? Uh, I.